We have a new space telescope and James Webb has discovered something so improbable. It was never meant to happen. In a galactic nebula, the telescope detected planets so unusual that they blow our minds about the possibilities of planet formation. Jupiter mass binary objects, or jumbos for short, are so out of the ordinary that they are actually impossible. Once again, the James Webb Space Telescope surprises us with a discovery that revolutionizes our knowledge of the universe, and we are far from having reached the end of the journey. What else will James Webb show us? Does the telescope have what it takes to detect life in space for the first time? And what do jumbos have to do with superhabitable worlds? When NASA was looking for a name for the new telescope, the choice fell on James E. Webb, NASA's second administrator for many years and the driving force behind the Apollo program. To this day, James Webb stands for significant advances in mankind's ability to understand the universe. Just as the man James Webb spent a lifetime driving this forward, the telescope named after him is now propelling us into ever new areas of the universe that we never knew existed. The mission of the new telescope is to shed light on the darkest corners of the cosmos and find answers to questions that we could not solve with the old technologies. How did the universe come into being? Are there other worlds like ours? What do the lights in the night sky tell us about our place in the cosmos? The positioning of the new space telescope is much further away from Earth than Hubble. At the Lagrange point L2, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the telescope has an uninterrupted view of the universe. The strategic position is free from the constraints of Earth's orbit and allows the James Webb Telescope to observe the universe with unprecedented clarity and sensitivity. Thanks to the fine measuring sensors, we can for the first time examine exoplanets thousands of light years away in great detail. Researchers have discovered a completely new category of planet that is astonishing everyone. The Jupiter mass binary objects in the Orion Nebula are well on the way to completely overturning our understanding of planet formation. These objects are actually impossible, but they do exist. We just haven't been able to see them yet. The Mysteries of the Orion Nebula Almost everyone who is interested in astronomy and the starry sky is familiar with the constellation Orion. The nebula of the same name is no less interesting. It is a luminous star-forming region located in the Milky Way. As one of the brightest gas and dust nebulae visible to the naked eye, it holds within it the secrets of the birth of stars and planets. For astronomers, the nebula is the perfect opportunity to follow the processes of star formation and the early stages of planetary development. The nebula contains many molecular clouds that collapse under their own gravity constantly creating new stars. Planets form around these stars, and these dynamic processes are important not only for understanding the formation of our own solar system, but also for answering fundamental questions about the origin of life in the universe. In the vicinity of the new stars, Webb has now discovered a completely new type of double planet that researchers have never seen before. Detached from their stars, binary planets cavort there each consisting of two Jupiter-like planets orbiting each other in a strange dance. Researchers have named this peculiarity Jupiter mass binary objects, or jumbos for short. Jumbos are such unusual and rare phenomena that they completely turn our understanding of planet formation on its head. These pairs have somehow become detached from their stars and orbit each other in the interstellar vacuum. This fact alone is bizarre, but just imagine Researchers have discovered as many as 40 of these jumbos in a cluster. This is such a statistical anomaly that scientists have to completely rethink the possibilities of impossibilities. Jumbos make up almost a tenth of all the wandering planets observed by the JWST in the Orion Nebula. This high rate of Jupiter-like binary systems should not actually exist according to our previous models and theories about planets and star systems. The second impossibility lies in planetary dynamics, according to which these objects should not actually exist. In the traditional view, planets form within the dust disks around young stars and usually remain in stable orbits around these stars. The existence of jumbos wandering freely in interstellar space, orbiting each other, seems so strange that scientists still cannot believe what they are seeing. The unusual objects and their masses also provide completely confusing data about the forces and events that may have led to their formation. 
Scientists need to clarify how these massive planetary bodies were torn from their original orbits, why they dance through the universe as bound pairs, what role do gravitational interactions play, or perhaps even massive collisions were involved in their formation process. Jumbos and their frequency in the Orion Nebula are statistically as improbable as the perfect coincidence of all the balls lining up in one corner of a pool table after a shot. You can imagine the surprise for scientists as if you were to look into a large dance hall where 40 couples have come together in one corner, with both partners looking almost exactly the same and dancing a completely different dance to all the other people in the room. The sight would be bizarre, and you would probably have to look twice to believe your eyes. That's more or less how the researchers felt when they saw the 40 jumbos in the Orion Nebula's star nursery. The study and understanding of the jumbos is now forcing astronomers once again to question previous assumptions. James Webb has shaken up many of our current models of cosmic evolution through real observations, and with this discovery, the shaking up of classical cosmology and astronomy just continues. We must realize that we did not know as much about the universe as we thought we did. A completely normal anomaly? It's fascinating how Webb constantly turns the traditional models of astronomy and cosmology on their head and shows us fascinating new things. The assumption that planets form in the protoplanetary disk around a star and acquire their shape and orbit through lengthy processes such as accretion and gravitational interactions has long been a valid astronomical concept. However, these 40 pairs look so strange that they could have been formed in a completely different way. Planet-like objects that wander through interstellar space in pairs without being bound to a central star raise questions about the reliability of old laws. One of the most important questions is how two planets the size of Jupiter are able to form a common gravitational center without being captured by a star. Initial explanations attempt to introduce new concepts that go beyond planetary accretion and take into account the dynamics of multi-body systems. Other ideas include gravitational disturbances caused by close passes of other stars or scenarios in which stars collided too violently for jumbos to form. But again, it is the relative frequency of jumbos that shows scientists that this must be an anomaly that is probably quite normal. It is possible that jumbos are even more common in space than previously thought, and we just haven't seen them. Jumbos will definitely refine our knowledge of the known universe and indicate that we should expect many more unusual discoveries. Aliens It may be hard to believe, but scientists even believe that the existence of jumbos opens up new prospects for the search for extraterrestrial life. Although jumbos themselves are probably not life-friendly, their discovery points to a greater diversity and complexity of planetary systems than previously thought. This could mean that life-friendly celestial bodies could be more common in the universe than we currently think possible. Imagine if we suddenly discovered a strange grouping of 40, 80, or 100 Earth-like planets in close proximity to each other in another galactic nebula, and all of them were inhabited and possibly even connected. Then we would have to realize that we were on a galactic outpost and didn't know it for centuries. The discovery of the Jumbos motivates further investigations and observations, not only in the Orion Nebula, but also in other regions of the universe. We must also consider it possible to discover completely new, life-friendly structures that do not resemble our Earth. Hycean worlds have also quite surprised our researchers. These super-water worlds are larger than Earth, smaller than Neptune, and mostly covered by water. They could offer even better living conditions and harbor a greater diversity of life. We now know that Hycean planets, or mini-Neptunes as scientists call these exoworlds, are among the most common planets in the universe. Before James Webb showed us this peculiarity, we would not have thought it possible. We simply didn't have the technology to discover distant planets or to study them more closely. Jumbos and mini-Neptunes prove to us what wonders and surprises the universe has in store for us. And we have to realize again that we are probably only at the beginning of discoveries. More weird discoveries? Now you may also be wondering how we can find many more exciting details and new discoveries as quickly as possible and find out more about the jumbos. James Webb has been working tirelessly and has spied out dozens of other corners of space since the jumbos were discovered. 
The scientists who discovered the jumbos are currently working on theoretical work and simulations of their formation and are working on further observation strategies to unravel the mystery of the jumbos. Further ground and space-based telescopes are to peer into the Orion Nebula in order to get to the bottom of the dancing Jupiter pairs. And of course, researchers would also like to look into other star-forming regions to find out whether such anomalies also exist there. The work on jumbos will probably take us much further than expected into the evolution of planetary systems. The new findings may also revolutionize our knowledge of our own solar system. Here too, evidence has emerged in recent years that the order of the planets and moons is nowhere near as clear as we thought. Our moon could in fact be a planet. Pluto and its moon Charon could also turn out to be a double planetary system. Evidence has been found on Neptune that it may once have been an interstellar object and migrated into our system. And Mercury is a cause for concern. Jupiter, the gas giant, could one day be ejected from our solar system. Here too, we are at a completely new beginning with our research. Become a subscriber now and be part of every new exciting video hit.